In this lesson, we take a look at the V-Ray wrapper material or V-Ray MTL wrapper. This shader allows you to integrate your 3D geometries onto HDRI environments or photographic backplates. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course V-Ray 5 Masterclass, your complete guide to V-Ray 4 3ds Max. It's a massive 15 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of V-Ray 4 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. So you basically apply this shader to the floor plane to catch shadows from lighting within the scene. Using wrapper material, we can define additional surface properties per material. We get back to that aspect of the material later on in the lesson. We have this car model and we want to integrate it onto this backplate photo. To integrate your 3D models to a photographic plate realistically, you need a backplate or a photographic plate and the matching HDRI for that plate. I have included a photo and it's matching HDRI thanks to HDRIHaven.com, a great resource for free HDRIs and backplates. So first, let's add a V-Ray dome light. Now open up Material Editor. Add a V-Ray bitmap node and load this skylet underscore garage HDRI image. We can click on this view button to take a look at the HDRI. As this is going to be used on a dome light, we need to change the mapping type to spherical. And as we are in ACES and this is an HDRI image, the color space transfer function is set to inverse gamma and RGB color space needs to be sRGB. Again, make sure to check out the ACES videos in the introduction section and in the rendering section of the course. Now select the dome light and use this image as its texture. We can run the IPR now. We need to rotate the HDRI image to match it with the back plate so the lighting will be consistent. Let's hide the ground plane to see where we are. If I enable flip horizontal and set the horizontal rotation to 300, now it matches with the photographic back plate. We don't need to see the HDRI on the dome light, we just want to see its contribution to the lighting. So select the dome light and make it invisible in the options. Now we need to add the backplate photo, so add another V-Ray bitmap. And load the backplate image. We simply need to define this map as the environment map. So press 8 to open up the environment and effects window. And instance the backplate image as the environment map. To make it look correct, down in the coordinate section of the map, change the mapping to environment and screen. Now we have a proper backplate. The next thing would be to match the camera with the photo. Just move it around until it matches or use tools like Perspective Match in the Utility tab to match the camera perfectly. Now let's unhide our ground plane and add a new V-Ray material wrapper and simply assign it to the ground plane. The first thing is to define a base material so the wrapper material can work with. So I'm going to add a default gray V-Ray material and set it as the base material. Next, we need to enable matte surface. Matte surface makes the material appear as a matte material which shows the background instead of the base material when viewed directly. The base material is still used for things like GI, caustics, reflections, and so on. Now if we turn on shadows, the matte surface can actually catch the shadows cast by the car. 
and voila the car is integrated into the photo so that's it really from now on it's just fine tuning using the available parameters here we have this alpha contribution it determines the appearance of the object in the alpha channel of the rendered image a value of one means the alpha channel will be derived from the transparency of the base material a value of zero means the object will not appear in the alpha channel at all and will show the alpha of the objects behind it a value of negative one means that the transparency transparency of the base material will cut out from the alpha of the objects behind. Matte objects are typically given an alpha contribution of negative one. So for now let's set it to negative one. Let me also unhide this reflective sphere. We have matte for reflect refract. This option makes the material appear as a matte material which shows the background instead of the base material when viewed through reflections and or refractions. Let me quickly show you what that means. You notice when this option is off you can see the reflective sphere is reflecting the plane with its gray material. But if enabled the reflections and the refractions are considering the plane to be a matte object and reflecting the environment correctly. Let's hide this here for now we have shadows and when this is enabled the shadows will be visible on the matte surface and the surface will act like a shadow catcher we have effect alpha when this is on shadows affect the alpha contribution of the matte surface areas in perfect shadow will produce white alpha while completely unoccluded areas will produce black alpha using this color you can change the color of the shadows on the matte surface we can actually pick uh, the color from the shady parts of the backplate photo for more realism if you wanted to Brightness is like the opacity value for the shadow. When set to 1, the shadow will be visible completely and as we decrease the brightness value, it becomes less visible. We have reflection amount, which if the base VRA material is reflective, it will show that reflection. Let's make our base material completely reflective. You can adjust the reflection roughness as well and you can immediately see how it works. And the way this option can be useful is if you imagine the road was wet, for example, and you wanted to see the reflection of the car on the road, you would use a reflective material as the base material and make sure the reflection amount in the material wrapper is larger than zero. We have refraction amount, which shows refraction from the base material. For now, let's set the reflection amount to zero. You notice that the wrapper material has this additional surface property section up here where you can control how an object that has this material applied to would deal with GI and caustics. Generate and receive GI are multipliers to control the global illumination generated and received by the surface that has this material. It doesn't have to be a matte surface. We can actually disable matte surface and still use these values to have extra control over the surface that has this material. For example, if you set the generate GI to zero there would be no GI contribution by this material and if set to two the GI contribution will be twice as strong as when it was one obviously one is the physically accurate value and receive GI the same way if set to zero the GI from other elements in the scene wouldn't affect the object that has this material and if set to two it will receive twice as GI we can see higher values here maybe something like 10 Obviously one is the physically accurate number and you shouldn't mess with this value unless there is a specific need. We have generate and receive caustics. We'll be discussing caustics effect later on. Generate caustics controls whether the material generate caustics or not and receive caustics control whether the material receives caustics or not. And we have this caustic multiplier to control how much caustics affect the surface that has this material. Now, if you want to have the same options on a per object basis, you can right click on any object in the scene and choose VRA properties. Here you notice we have the same matte properties on the right side and GI and caustics options are in the middle as well. We'll learn more about VRA properties window in another video later on in the course. For now, let me close this window and show you the final render for this scene. So in this video, we learned about V-Ray wrapper material and how to practically use it. I will see you in the next lesson. 
make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Vray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.